Today I'll be showing you how to make a pottery wheel. First, you'll need a very long piece of clay. You'll need a skewer, some little chunks of clay, a little eraser, and your motor. First of all, you'll take any color piece of clay you want. Now, since my orange, I'm picking orange, I don't have a lot of orange, I'm going to use a couple pieces of orange. It's, you can do that. So, taking three pieces of clay, they're kind of mixed in a little of colors, but first, I'm going to just roll the three pieces into a big ball. And make sure it's just perfect ball. Don't make a square or anything. Now, my ball might be a little too big. So just before you put the ball on your motor, just make sure it's not too big. So then you take your eraser and you press it down on the motor and uh, just make sure it works, so it moves. And so then you're gonna take your ball and you're gonna just kinda, I'm gonna take, cut my ball in half because it's a little too big and I'm gonna take the smaller piece and I'm gonna roll it in the ball. And then I'm gonna take my thing and I'm gonna hold it like this and I'm gonna press the clay down onto the, yeah, it is, the eraser. And I press it down so it's like a flat pancake on top of the, a floppy flat pancake on top of the eraser. And just make sure it's tight on there so when you turn it on, it doesn't fly off. <laughs> and just sometimes, last time I made mine, when I was done, it didn't look very nice. So just, when you're doing it, just make sure it looks nice. Then I'm gonna plug the red wire into the blue wire. And that's gonna make this move. So then, I'm, stop already. I'm gonna take my skewer and I'm just gonna hit the ends of it just to oops, shape the clay. And see, I didn't have my clay tight, too tight on it, so it kind of fell off. So I'm gonna start over. But you see, it kind of shaves off little pieces like this. And it'll shape the pot. I'm just gonna tab on the edges while it goes around. And every now and then, I'll check on my pot. Like every mi every minute or two. Now, if you have it, it looks kind of nice. But when you stop it, it doesn't look very nice. So just make sure you're. You do it for a really long time. Hitting it. Now don't press on it too hard or look what happens. It just stops. So you're just tabbing on it. Like this. And sometimes when you stop it, you can put it someplace where you want it to be and then just let it go and it'll shave that place. Now, sometimes I'll just kind of fix it. Now, every now and then you're not gonna just keep unplugging this and plugging it and unplugging it and plugging it. So I just stop it with your finger and let go. And it won't hurt you. And see how I'm getting some clay on my clay on my skewer. You're just gonna drag it in little shred pieces. 
fall off. Now every now and then, your eraser will come out like that. So you need to gonna press it down. Sometimes you can go on the top and just make a little tower just to make it cool looking like that. There's like a little hole shape. Stop. Baby, you are so Now, when you shape it on the bottom, you're just making it even on the outside, because when you take the clay out, it's gonna make the bowl. Sometimes you can take your nail, and you can just go like this if the skewer doesn't work. And it's a good way to kind of go on the bottom and Shave the bottom sometimes. Nice. Oh, so when I take it out like this, I made a little bowl shape that really has a hole in the bottom. That's so cool. And when you're done like that, you're gonna take your long piece of clay. And I'm just gonna break it like this, maybe right here. And I'm just gonna take it and design it. Like, I'm gonna put the outside's gonna be like that. Like that, and I'm gonna show you. Like that. So now the outlining is that color. Then I'm gonna take my skewer and I'm just gonna like make little marks. And then if you want, you can. I'm gonna add some yellow to it. And I'm gonna take some yellow and I'm gonna just do it. Make sure. If you want to do the same design I am, in, just make sure the balls are not very big because then if you want to do a different design on the sides, it's going to be hard to take the little balls off. And see how my bowl is kind of squashy? When you're done, you're just going to take it and cook it in your oven. But before, my mom gave me this kind of clay. I had this white clay my teacher gave me, and when I made a little cat, my cat melted. It wasn't the type of clay, so just make sure you get the kind of cooking clay that you're gonna use before you buy, before you take it. Just make sure it's cooking clay, not just play clay, like I got. You can also use Play-Doh if you want, because that you don't have to put it in the oven. It's like a little hat. And you can also use it as a little hat. You could also make a little hat for a doll, like just put it on them. But I normally like to make bowls, and I can make food, like sandwiches. And that would be in your next video. And that would be in the next video or something like that. And so when I'm done with my bowl, like this and see it's really cute and it has a design on it and I didn't shape it with my fingers I shaped it with the motor and that'll be my bowl